Hey, what's going on, guys? So today we're doing a YCS Anaheim slash regional report. There was the reason I say YCS Anaheim and slash regional report because there was actually a minor four round regional that took place um, during YCS Anaheim, if that makes sense. So today we're looking at the two f decks that got first place at both of them, and the reason that is is because um, the person who got first place. It was piloted by Mike Hilaro, um, and he got first place with Totally Light Swarm, Totally Awesome Light Swarm. Um, so it was a very unique deck, which is why I think it fit that pur purpose. Um, and then the deck that inevitably won the entire uh, event was Brilliant ABC. So ABC is topping an event again, but a little bit of a different version. That deck was piloted by Elvis Vu. Um, but anyway, getting to the regional report. The top four finishers um, were, like I just said, Elvis Vu got first place with ABCs. Second and third place was taken by the archetype Paleozoics. Um, second place, it was piloted by Michael State. And third place was piloted by Ed Eceptions. So for those wondering whether or not the new Paleozoics and Totally Awesome is going to make an impact for Paleozoics, um, there's no re real reason to wonder anymore. Um, this is the second report I'm doing where I'm talking about Paleozoics and... Asala Wathathan Ridge, um, if I'm saying that correctly, he got fourth place with Metaphos. Other top 16 decks, um, Zachary Stone had Yang Zing, Metapho got top 16, Paleoz or Mermail Frogs, excuse me, got top 16, Paleozoic Frogs got top 16, Blue Eyes got top 16 um, at a 1700 person event um, in YCS Anaheim, so there was plenty of people there. It was a two day event. Um, I will have a link in the description for the final, um, but there was, um, the, uh, YouTube was covering, um, this event in its entirety. It's really cool that they do that, because they do that for Magic, so it's really cool that they're, um, starting to do that for Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, I actually have a link in the description box to, um, the article that talks about the top four duelists, um, and the deck profiles of both Brilliant ABCs and Totally Awesome, but here are the deck profiles right now, starting with, um, Totally light storm, as I like to call it. So, um, really, the idea of this should be fairly obvious by the name is to summon Minerva, get her draws, get some free summons potentially with wolves and fairy tale snows and trick clowns, and then summon out to Bahamut Shark, which could summon out totally awesome. Either Tin Goldfish um, or Bahamut Shark is going to get banned. Potentially Norden as well. I think a way off the wall to potential banning is. Um, Chocolate Magician Girl. I think she might be in trouble as well. Um, but that's a way off the wall banning. Definitely the problem card is Tin Goldfish and Bahamut Shark. Um, so we definitely see one of those getting limited or potentially banned in general. But let's get back to the deck profile. Three copies of Raiden. Two copies of Lila because she's basically a walking MST. Three copies of Wolf. Um, two Chocolate Magician Girls. Three Gigabytes. Three get Tin Goldfish. Two Trick Clowns. Three Fairy Tale Snow, two Max C, two Photon Thrasher. I'm not sure how much I agree with the Light Swarm engine. I feel like maybe adding a main deck Minerva and potentially a, F a Felis, even though I don't really like Felis. Um, maybe Aaron. Just having more copies of Light Swarms in your hand so the Solar Recharge is never dead. Um, but then again, there is eight targets for three cards. That's not really the best ratio, in my opinion, but it's still not the worst either. And I've never really been a big fan of running hand traps like Maxi and Effect Veiler in decks that mill. So you could have a potential to lose it off of a Solar Recharge, a Charge of the Light Brigade, a Raiden Effect, a Pot of Desires is all a chance that you could have losing the Maxi. Three Pot of Desires, three Instant Fusions. Um, and that was because uh, Totally Awesome can return Norden and Digustal Emerald can return Norden. Um, three Solar Recharges like I referred to before, two Charge of the Light Brigade. Two Twin Twisters, one Reinforcement of the Army, one Foolish, one Soul Charge, and one Phantom Knights of the Shade Brigadine. I had to look up this card's effects. Um, he said it in the video as well. Um, but you can special summon this card in defense position as a normal monster, dark, 300 defense, zero attack, level 4 monster. Now, if you have no traps in your graveyard, that's the key. If you have no traps in your graveyard, you can activate this card the turn you set it. So it sucks. It's kind of some cheese. You draw this card, you activate it, pre level 4. Um, it's a very interesting card. Um, but anyway, let's get to the side deck. 
two Danko Sekas um, for Paleozoics. Um, because it does, unless they have the warning, they the Paleozoics can't really do much to Danko Seka. Unless they have a way to get Paleozoics in the grave. Um, or they are running uh, <laughs> two Gamma Seals, the Sea Turtle Kaiju, uh, the third Twin Twister, one Rageki, one Dimension Barrier. I thought that was interesting. One book of, two Book of Eclipse, three System Downs, and three Anti Spells. Uh, one Norden, one Trita, or one Totally Awesome, one Muhammad Shark, one Abyss Dweller, two Omega. Um, he said he would have taken out the Omega for Crimson Blader, um, but one Minerva, Lights from Saint, one Bujinki Amaratsu, Amaratsu uh, one Tsukiyome, who certain, seeming like he's starting to become a staple in Light Storm, uh, then one Castell, one Rhapsody, one Emerald, one King of the Feral Limbs, one Utopia, and one Utopia, the Lightning. Um, and that was the deck that got first place at the regional. It was a four round regional at Anaheim. The guy went X3 with a different deck, decided just to take that deck and use it at the regional and got first place. <laughs> if that doesn't sound like you're good to me, then I don't really know what does. Um, but anyway, this is the deck that got first place at the 1700 person regional event. Um, I think it would have been crazy had he lost. Because <laughs> um, had he lost, he would have lost the Paleozoics. But anyway, let's get to the brilliant ABCs. Two Gemini Garnet, two Photon Thrasher, three ABC, uh, or three A, excuse me, three B, and two C. Uh, he's, uh, C is kind of a bad one to draw, so that's why they're that. Is, that is like that. One gold, two gold, two silver, one Trick Clown for the Brilliant Fusion Engine, two Max C. Two instant fusion, one reinforcement of the army, two dark hole. Found that interesting as well. Um, three terraforming because you need it in union in this in union hangar dot deck. One foolish, basically just probably sent trick clown. I can't think of anybody else that you would send. Um, two twin twister again, two dimension barrier, one vanity's emptiness, two strike, three brilliant fusion, obviously. Um, and then for the extra deck, pretty standard. Uh, three ABC, one Seraphonite, one Norden, one Utopia, one Utopia Lightning, one Gigajin X, Castell, two Diamond Dire Wolf, which he never explained why in the video, and I would really like to know why. So if anybody has a way to get to Asian Persuasion, um, I would really like to know why. I'll also be trying to comment on the video, see if I can get a response that way. Um, one Tsukiyome, one Emerald, one Dweller, and one Rhapsody. As far as the side deck, kind of an interesting side deck. Three Chaos Hunter, three Retaliating Sea. Oh, uh, I'm not. This card does search maxi, which is nice, but it only works when a spell card is activated. So other than instant fusion and brilliant fusion, there really aren't any uh, meta ways that I can think of um, that you would activate that. But hey, what who, what do I know? Uh, two system down, two twin twister, one magnet reverse, which two typhoon and two anti spell as well. Um, so that's it for the regional report. I hope you enjoyed it. Click that like. Click that subscribe, but most importantly, have a great day.